So now I will hand over to Khadika sir for doing a hip surgical procedure, but on a fracture table. Okay, thank you, Shantanu. So now we come to one of the most commonly performed surgery by the orthopedic surgeons, that is a fracture of uh, the upper end of femur or fracture around the hip joint. Uh, it could be either an intracapsular fracture of the neck femur or it could be an intertrochantric or a subtrochantric fracture, which most of the orthopedic surgeons prefer doing it on a fracture table. So here is the view of the operation theater where an anesthetized patient with an intertrochantric fracture is fixed on a fracture table. So that was one was a lateral view. One is from the view from in between the two lower limbs. As you can see, the operating operate uh, the leg to be operated is uh, the right one, which is straight. The other leg is uh, flexed, abducted, and externally rotated in the hip so as to allow good space uh, for the CM to go in for the AP and lateral views because for a lateral view, this uh, CM tube has to go below the hip and come up on the other side. So these are uh, slides which we which you are just seeing uh, of how you drape. Uh, we will come to the video shortly. Yeah, so this was the final uh, draped uh, picture of the uh, patient. Now this is the video. So the patient is fixed to the fracture table, uh, is scrubbed and now painted. First, you take a plastic sheet, a big plastic sheet, and you just put it over the lower limb. Because of the betadine, it will stick to the lower limb. Uh, now you take a big sheet and cover the distal extremity below the knee. One big sheet you take and cover the upper part of the body. The third sheet you cover the opposite limb. Now, on the lateral side of the operated uh, limb to be operated, uh, you put a big sheet. Yeah, and then suture these ends. Okay, so these are, okay, now these are stitches being taken to secure these big sheets which have come from all the sides, one from the above, one on the opposite limb, and one on this side. All of them are secured in place by stitches or ethylon stitches which you take through the sheet and superficially through the skin so that they don't move or come out. So as you can see, this is a, all the sheets have been secured. Yeah, now this is, this one is a very important sheet. It's a big sheet at the upper part, which goes right from the chest wall, right up to the uh, floor. The last one, Chandu, yeah. Yeah, this one. So basically you can pause for a second. Uh, so yeah, so this sheet, if you see, it is going from the body of the patient and flowing down to the uh, bottom of the table or almost to the floor. Now, this is a very important sheet because when you are doing a lateral view of the hip joint with the CM, the CM comes in between the legs under the table. So, it comes out through a completely unsterile area and then swings up to come in the lateral position to show you the hip laterally. So, if you don't have this proximal sheet placed properly, it can move a bit and the CM or the tube of the CM can come out of the sheet and contaminate your field while taking a lateral view. So, this I feel is a very important sheet. Okay, so with that, we come to the end of the draping of a fracture table. Uh, lastly, you put a screen and isolate the head end. The anesthetist takes the sheet and puts it over the yeah. Lastly, you cut the plastic drape and turn it onto itself like this. 
from three sides, keep one side intact and just turn it onto itself, clean it with sterilium and your operating field is ready for you to start the surgery. Thank you.